Hello everybody. It's been quite some time since I've done any kind of update on my page, so I thought I would give a quick update. There really isn't any update. Um, I have gone to a rheumatologist now, and I really felt like the visit was a waste of time. Um, the rheumatologist did not have my test results. Um, I waited two months for the appointment, and then she, they didn't get the test results from the other doctor. So I don't really know why they even really kept the appointment with me it had because they didn't have the numbers they needed to look at for when I was there. Um, and the doctor told me, I mean, she examined me, um, but didn't speak, like didn't tell me anything really other than, well, the... Titus, uh, they were blood tests checking for these Titus levels, um, and the blood test I had had done back in January, February, um, came back positive for lupus, and um, and my primary care doctor said that the uh, t not Titus, titer, titer. Anyway, I said that the level was really, really high and that I had to see a rheumatologist and I needed to be seen in person um, for an, an actual physical exam because of those test results. Well, like I said, the physical exam was kind of a joke. Um, the There was no pressure put on any of my joints. Like she touched my knees and my elbows and my knees I've had my knees have been swollen since the end of May my right knee is much bigger than my left knee but both knees are causing me significant issues especially the right knee um, I've had a lot of trouble with the left leg again um, just kind of numbness and stuff and my elbows and shoulders and neck and ankles and hand I mean just all my joints are driving me nuts. Um, lots of just all over body inflammation. Um, I've also, 4th of July, uh, pff, seizure city. Um, the firecrackers set me off. I've, since it's been summertime here in the Midwest, the humidity and heat's been awful, of course, and I am back to having problems at least three days a week because of, I think, because of the heat. I'm very heat intolerable. Um, however, actually, I can't really say that's 100% accurate because we just did a emergency round trip driving caravan uh, from Illinois to California and back um, through the West, through very hot states, but there's no humidity. And I wasn't, even though I wasn't really outside a whole lot because we were driving uh, for most of that time, but we stopped, of course, a lot along the way. Um, I got out, I remember being out in Utah at one of the stops and just walked around for a while, and it was probably close to 100 degrees, um, but there was just no humidity. And honestly, it felt like it was 85 degrees back here, like what it feels like here at home. Except it was probably like I think I think the temperature said it was like 98 degrees or something like that feels like 100 or whatever, but because the humidity was so low, I didn't have any problems. I had we drove 60 plus hours over a five day period. Well, yeah, we left Friday, so we drove Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday. We got home Tuesday morning at like 2 a.m. I mean, because it was like an emergency trip we had to take to get things situated for our daughter and blah blah. Um, and it wasn't though um, it was my husband, me, our son who's twenty and his girlfriend who's almost twenty one. So they I mean we had plenty of drivers. Um because we had to drive it straight through. We did stop and we slept, you know, an hour here and there, you know, to kinda so we were all rested. But it was crazy. And for me to have the problems that I have to be able to make that trip was just nuts. Um so we've decided because of how my body was, even though I was overly tired, how I was in that environment, the dry heat, um, it showed us that there is definitely a difference 
um, effect-wise on my body. So back home, as soon as we got home, I started having problems again. The humidity, um, even though I was in the car for so long and I had some leg swelling from sitting for so long, um, I was feeling better overall. I mean, overly tired, swelling to my legs from sitting for so long, no seizures. Um, very limited shaking and twitching in the car. Um, hmm. Coincidence? I think not. I think the weather has a significant impact on my symptoms. So, anyway, back to what I was saying. The doctor, the rheumatologist, is supposed to be calling me once she gets the test results from the other clinic. I haven't heard anything, and it's been three weeks almost since I've had that appointment. Um, my birthday is on the 30th, so I'm getting ready to turn another age older or another year older. Um, other than that, not really a whole lot. I'm still not working. Um, I don't feel confident to even try to get a job. I did apply it. I did apply for a job only because it was at the same place my husband works, and that's like a security blanket. I know that if I have a job somewhere with him and something happens, at least I have him there to help me and get me home. Um, however, that doesn't look like it's going to work out because the, I guess the owner might have issues with spouses working in the same building. Um, of course, my old co-workers and supervisors know that Bill, my husband, and I work terrific together. Like, absolutely terrific together. We are not your typical husband and wife, I guess. I don't know. I know some spouses said they could not work together. Bill and I, that's our dream, is to work together. We're truly best friends. And, yeah, you're like, oh, well, you're the wife. You have to say, you know, you're saying that because you're the wife. No, he'll tell you the same thing. We love being around each other. We love working together. And if we get tired of each other, we just separate for a little while. Like, we'll go off into our own corners, like even at home, when he had to work from home. Um, if we kind of got on each other's nerves, which is very rare. Um, actually, I think he gets on my nerves more than I get on his nerves. I don't know. We would just separate. But anyway, medically speaking, I'm the same. I mean... I still don't have a diagnosis other than I have dystonia symptoms. They aren't saying it's dystonia. We know it's not. We do know it's not epilepsy. I mean, I've had things ruled out. We know it's not MS. That was ruled out. And now lupus is still on the table, and I haven't received a diagnosis of it yet because the rheumatologist waited, is waiting for those test results that I already had and she should have had before I went for that appointment. Ultimately at this point in my life, uh, dealing with this for uh, three years, um, I feel like the Western medicine is a joke for the most part. Um, I just feel kinda whatever, I just gotta live with it, uh, which sucks because it is keeping me from making a living for myself and supporting myself in a traditional way. Um, and it's, you know, my husband is our only means of financial support and, you know, he's not in a position where, I mean, we're making it by. Um, things could be much better for us. So we are regrouping um, since the doctors haven't really come through for me to help me, um, they haven't even, I've told the doctors the only thing that seems to help, and it doesn't cure it by any means, but the only thing that seems to help is marijuana or cannabis, I guess I should say, um, cause I don't like smoking it. I do have some flower or bud or tree or whatever you want to call it. I have some cannabis flower, I guess, to smoke, um, but I prefer not to. Um, however, when I do, it really only takes two or three uh, hits on like a, or puffs or inhales or whatever. Like I'm, you can totally tell I'm not a pro at, the, at using it. Um, uh, but it relaxes the body, it relaxes the muscles, and it, and it helps tremendously um, for the twitching to slow down, sometimes completely stop. Um, edibles also are great. 
I find that a 5 milligram edible can kind of keep things at bay. Uh, 10 milligrams, 10 milligram is, is pretty much the go-to for me now though. 10 milligrams will typically stop the seizures um, and the twitching 95% uh, of the time um, and oftentimes will put me to sleep. However, <laughs> the problem with using cannabis is I get hungry and I have to keep my weight down because it's better for my joints and my arthritis. Um, I do have rheumatism, uh, arthritis. We do know that. I've been diagnosed that years ago. So keeping my weight down is important and that's a struggle because marijuana, cannabis, um, helps with the other but makes me hungry. So whatever. It is what it is. I just got to try to find a balance um, and uh, just keep on keeping on. So anywho, um, sorry to be so boring right now. Not a lot to really say. I've said a lot but not really a lot. Um, dystonia symptoms suck. Seizures suck. Uh, and I think the worst part of it all is the pain I go through after I have an episode. The next stiffness, um, I'm still having pain from 4th of July. Like, yeah. I mean, I wasn't just the 4th. I've had, I've had a lot of issues since the 4th, but the 4th was bad. And, um, the stiffness across the muscles all along the bottom of like, I don't know, like right along the hairline, like all the way across there is still stiff and uh, hurts really bad most days. Tiger Bomb, Tiger Bomb helps, um, but it's kind of icky to use, um, but Tiger Bomb does help. <sighs> I yawn a lot before I start to have problems and I've already talked too long and I'm starting to have problems. So, and then that stiffness starts. Um, so, I'm, I'm about the same as uh, I'm about the same aim as I was Trying to uh, same same as I was a couple years ago, um, but I think my husband and I are close to having a a plan of our own on what we need to do. Uh, for me e, to live a more uh, 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 dang it <laughs> to live a more f <laughs> you got gotta laugh uh, to live things to do for me to live a more the fulfilling life. I'm gonna to go now.